Hi folks. The Roman Catholic Church that I attend has a main sanctuary, the church, where weekend services are held and other events during the week. But also for about 15 hours a day, we have what's known as a chapel, a room to the side that is open to the public for people to come and pray and to meditate. And in this chapel, we have a tabernacle, and in that tabernacle is the body of Christ, the Eucharist, the host. Now, I'm not here to discuss the Eucharist, the host, the body of Christ. If you want to discuss that, we could do that at another time. It's the reverence that's not being shown by many people in this chapel. Now, as a Roman Catholic, when you enter this chapel, we know we're in the presence of God in that tabernacle, so we need to behave with reverence, so you think. You see, the church I belong to, I affectionately call it the Church of Alibaba and its 4,000 thieves, because <laughs> 4,000 parishioners in this church. A recent notice had to be placed in the church bulletin, admonishing people for desecrating the chapel. That's it. They go to the chapel, they drag their children in there with them, and they let the children eat cookies and potato chips and Cheerios and throw them on the floor and leave them on the floor. One parent was there who fell asleep in the pews while the children with crayons were drawing on the floor. No problem. You're in the presence of God. Why should you behave? Why should you show any reverence? They also leave drinks in there, soda pop, etc. Now, here's the statue of the Blessed Mother that's in this ta the uh, chapel. And in the hand of the uh, statue is a rosary. Periodically, somebody would steal the rosary. Now, what do you do with a rosary? You pray to the Blessed Mother. So they steal the rosary from the Blessed Mother to pray to the Blessed Mother. You have a problem with that? Now, here's the tabernacle. They had to put a sign below the tabernacle advising people not to prostrate yourself on the ground within four feet of the tabernacle. People would go to this chapel, prostrate themselves on the floor right there at the tabernacle, preventing people from accessing, who are authorized to access the contents of that tabernacle. So a sign had to be placed. You know what the problem with that sign is? It only is written in two languages, English and Spanish. They forgot the third language. The third language being stupid, because that seems to be the only language. <laughs> Most of these people who come into the chapel read, understand, but most likely do not comprehend. All right, folks, we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America, please, in that church. And God bless the nation you have to be. See you. <laughs>